Well, folks, here we go. It's the end of a Vancouver Canucks era. It is a day of reckoning. Everything is happening right now as I record this, but I think we now have enough information coming through for me to actually film this video, which I, I tried to do like an hour and a half ago uh, when green was when the green news came out. But let's talk about what seems to be happening. And I'm going to use this tweet from Irfan Gaffar, um, which sort of summarizes things nicely that he just tweeted out. So he believes the changes in Vancouver will include Jim Benning and John Wise brought out as GM and AGM with Chris Gear likely stepping in to an interim role. Uh, and then Travis Green and Nolan Bumgardner out on the coaching side with Bruce Boudreaux coming in and bringing Scott Walker with him on coaching staff. So there's so much to unpack here. Where do we even begin? I, I mean, I think we start with the biggest one, right? And the biggest one is from the top down, and that is Jim Benning and John Weisbrod out. Does anyone know what John Weisbrod does? No, but he's not a part of the organization anymore, it seems. So Jim Benning joined what was it this is his eighth season uh, as as general manager of the vancouver canucks uh with a decent drafting history uh some hits some misses but i'd say maybe a little bit above average on the drafting side um trading was very you know it's, he had he had some bangers uh, of trades and some really bad ones uh and and free agent signings that that really got the best of him uh and he has spent eight years on this vision of a retool and sort of a rebuild on the fly that never had the Canucks fully rebuilding, but had them being bad for a long time and picking up pieces along the way. And eight years in, this was this was supposed to be it. This was all right. We we've brought in some more guys uh, like Connor Garland, like Oliver Ekman Larson, and the like. Uh, we've moved out some bad contracts. We traded a first round pick again. We are in. And then Jim Benning's words: "This is a playoff team." Uh, there, we're going to make the playoffs, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, which clearly hasn't happened. Uh, the team is eight, 15 and two, I believe. Uh, and it is a, it is an absolute, uh, failure in every respect. And it all culminated last night against the Pittsburgh Penguins with uh, fire bending chants being heard loudly through your TV set or your radio, uh, a Jersey on the ice, uh, on hockey night in Canada, national television and change gets made. So Jim Benning out, John Wise brought out from the top level, which allows Chris Gear to come in uh, and be the interim for now. He's the COO um, of the of the Canucks and the AGM, I think as well. Uh, I don't know. He he was the COO, and now I think he's he's the AG, he was one of the AGMs. Uh, so now he is uh, running the ship for the time being. Uh, Alex Blair has tweeted out that he hears that uh, one name floating around might be uh, George McPhee, who is Vegas's uh, president of hockey ops currently. Uh, he was an AGM with the Canucks during the Pat Quinn regime. He was the GM in Washington uh, with Bruce Boudreaux underneath him. So could be something there, but nowhere near confirmation. But here's the thing. It, it had to happen, right? This, I, I'm I am very okay with this change, with Jim Benning going out, John Weisbar going out. It feels like you know, change has to be made from the top down. And if you if you're trying to create a, a culture that can win and and re and you know put a team together that can eventually win a Stanley Cup, wasn't going to happen under Jim Benning. But what we can talk more about tonight is. The coaching, Travis Green and Nolan Baumgartner out with Bruce Boudreaux and Scott Walker coming in. Let's start with Travis Green. Um, Travis Green had a rough go here, and part of it was his um, how much how much you want to stick with his system that he has created, and being a bit stubborn on that front. But also, he w he was given a pretty bad hand, right? He was consistently given below average rosters uh, to work with. Uh, he seems like an excellent person. The way he has been treated by the Canucks organization recently with it basically being public knowledge that they were searching for his replacement, which clearly they were because boom, Bruce Boudreau hired the second that like before the Canucks even announced that he had been fired at this point. So clearly they were, they were looking behind the scenes for a replacement for Travis green. So Travis green kind of just sitting there still being the only one who talks to the media, uh, night in night out. Um, so look, 
Might not have been a, a great coach here. Might be an average coach, coach somewhere else. I'm sure he will land somewhere. Um, but he really got a rough shake of things here in Vancouver. With him going out, this oh, does is this enough to salvage this season is sort of the, the start of my question here, right? The Canucks still have a bad defense. The Canucks still have a penalty kill that has been running at 63%. Now, maybe maybe the penalty kill gets an upgrade. I heard Jeff Patterson talk about it a few minutes ago saying in the last 17 games, the Canucks penalty kill is at like 59%. They're below 60% on the penalty kill. You get a power play 40% of the time you score on this team. That's so tragically bad. Uh, and for us to be talking about um, a team where we've had those like death marches in like February, March, and April to having it in no November and December this year. And I mean, look, it's December 5th as I'm recording this. This <laughs> we were supposed to be in the thick of the playoff race, maybe even like second or third in the division. Like this was supposed to be a playoff team. Sure. Lots of analysts, people outside sort of the Canucks circle, um, projected the Canucks to not be a playoff team, but to be close, right? Uh, we're talking in like the 88 to 92 point range is what lots of predictions were. Uh, but the Canucks are on a pace well below that. They're in the 50s or 60 point pace uh, currently, which is uh, much, much lower uh, than um, than we expected. So they had to make a change. And Travis Green is the one uh, who gets uh, who gets lopped off from the coaching side, as well as Nolan Bumgarner. Uh, and this allows them to go out and bring in Bruce Boudreaux and Scott Walker. Let's talk about Bruce Boudreaux. Bruce Boudreaux is an offensive coach. So at the very least, it's going to be fun in theory. They're going to be exciting games. And to me, that sounds like what a team like this needs, right? This is a team that is currently constructed in a way that needs to outscore its problems. Because its glaring issue is the defensive side of the game. They have a goaltender back there who's doing his best. But the people in front of him are giving him a rough time. Uh, the Canucks defense isn't great. But they have these offensive weapons. They have Elias Pettersson. They have Brock Besser. They have Connor Garland. They have Bo Horvat. They have JT Miller. They have so many good offensive players. And most of them aren't producing. So when you have a defense that's not very good... The, a team that you've built that your win condition is that you will outscore what your defense allows. And then your offense, your forwards are slumping and, and things aren't working. You have Elias Pettersson, who is doing absolutely nothing. Brock Besser, who's not doing much. Horvat, who's been very streaky. He had like eight games without a point, and then he gets a couple points, and he'll go a bunch of games without a point again. Um, bringing in a guy like Bruce Boudreaux seems like it could work, right? If you're able, if Bruce Buter is able to get things to turn around, if he's able to get Elias Pettersson ticking again, at least on some level, if he's able to get Brock Besser back up to himself, if this offense is gets to what they should have been on paper and the defense can just be okay and the penalty kill can be okay and Thatcher Demko continues to be great, then this team can start winning some hockey games. Now, will they win enough hockey games to make the playoffs this year? I doubt it. Look, there's 57 games left or something like that. I think it's 57 games left. The Canucks are going to need to go on like 110 plus point pace uh, on the way out here. And they've they have not shown that they are going to do that. But at the very least, it could bring this season up a little bit. It could be more exciting. Um, at the very least, that's all we can ask for, right? So Bruce Boudreaux getting a two year deal. So he is here for the rest of this season and next season. The same contract that Travis Green had, basically. Um, but with Travis Green gone, Bruce Boudreaux full, fills that role, and he'll be here until the end of the next season, which means it's not a big commitment, right? If things go poorly, which they might, I hope they don't, but they might, then they can cut bait without too much hassle, right? If they fire him, or if they just hire someone else at the end of next season, no harm, no foul, right? So... Bruce Boudreaux, offensive-minded coach. He coached in Washington for five years, from 2007 to 2012. Uh, consistently a playoff team while he was there. Uh, but it was a team that couldn't get over the hump. It was when the, the whole narrative, Alex Ovechkin will never win a Stanley Cup, sort of was a thing. And um, basically, they, they lost in the first round twice. They lost in the second round twice. And then in his fifth season, 22 games in, uh, where they had a pretty decent start, but not great. They were 12-9-1. He was let go. Then 
he joins Anaheim right away, basically. Uh, he gets replaced, and then he joins Anaheim, like, literally days later. Um, they miss the playoffs, but they become a playoff team. We have, uh, they go to the playoffs for, uh, for four straight years with Bruce Boudreau at the helm. Uh, first round uh, loss in, their, in his first year. Uh, or I guess his second year, his first full year, uh, out in the second round in his second year, uh, out in the third round in his third year, and then they lose in the first round in his fourth year, and he leaves and starts coaching Minnesota. And Minnesota then has some playoff uh, appearances at the very least, right? They make the playoffs twice. They miss the playoffs um, in the 2018-2019 uh, the season. And then um, in 2019-2020, uh, he was replaced um, before the uh, before COVID hit and before things got shut down. So Bruce Boudreaux has been an NHL coach for almost 15 years. He's an offensive guy. Uh, we get to use that gif of him uh, saying darn when he wasn't actually saying darn, which is a lot of fun. Uh, and I think this is at the very least, it, it's, it's, it's good. It, it's a good move, in my opinion. Um, there might be other options out there, but with the way this team needs needs new people involved and uh, and he should be a decent fit it also brings scott walker into the organization uh who played for the canucks back in uh from 1994 to 1998 and then played a bunch of years in nashville carolina uh and played under boudreau in washington uh for a few games there he coached the guelph storm in the ontario hockey league for five years won a championship there uh, and then hasn't coached since, uh, since like 2015, but he's like the, he works in the organization. He is the president of hockey operations for the Guelph storm. So he'll probably be, be leaving that position, um, at that point. So it's a lot of stuff going down a lot of, a, a big day, a big Sunday for the Vancouver Canucks. And we'll see what happens. Um, as always, I have post games after every game. So after tomorrow night's game, we'll have our first look at the Bruce Boudreaux led Canucks. So we'll talk about that. Also, Canucks After Dark is tomorrow night at 10.15 p.m. on the Canucks After Dark channel link down below. Clay and I will be talking about this the whole time. So we'll go into a lot more detail. You guys know the drill. Um, it's a uh, it, it's a big time for the Vancouver Canucks. And I want to close out with this tweet from Jeff Patterson. Uh from about an hour ago saying tomorrow night versus LA will be the Vancouver Canucks 82nd game of the 2021 calendar. This team in 2021 was 31, 44 and six good for 68 points in 81 games with only 23 wins in regulation. I mean, that speaks for itself, right? Uh, it's a change that needed to happen. Uh, and uh, let's go. Let, let's have some fun. Look, this season might be lost, but hey, we got a Bruce Boudreaux offense. We might have our players scoring some more goals. At the very least, it's exciting. It's interesting. We'll see if we hear more about um, about a GM replacement, if George McPhee is a name in the ring, if it goes somewhere else. And uh, make sure you're subscribed here, stay posted, and I will uh, hopefully keep you guys updated. And with that, have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Go Canucks!